Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with chapter 13 of grade 12 maths that is probability. And uh, the topic of this video is multiplication theorem on probability. So let's start. So the multiplication theorem on probability states that if A and F, E and F be two events associated with the same sample space of an experiment, then probability of E intersection F is equal to PE into PF by E provided PE is not equal to 0 or PE intersection F is equal to PF multiplied by PE by F provided PF not equal to 0. So if E, F and G in case of three events, if E, F and G are three events associated with the same sample space, then probability of E intersection F intersection G will be equal to P e into P F by E into P G by E intersection F. Clear? So pause and note on this point. Independent events. So let E and F be two events associated with the sample space S. So if the probability of occurrence of one of the events is not affected by the occurrence of the other event, then we say that the two events are independent. That the if one ev event happens, it does not affect the result or outcome of the other event. Then we say that both the events are independent. So two events E and F will be independent if P F by E is equal to P F provided P E not equal to 0, P E by F equals to P E provided P F not equal to 0. So, and using the multiplication theorem on probability we have P E intersection F equals to P E into P F. Clear? So pause and note down this point. Now three events A, B, C are said to be mutually independent if the following all of the following conditions are satisfied that P A intersection B is equal to P A into P B, P A intersection C is equal to P A into P C, P B intersection C is equal to P B into P C and P A intersection B intersection C is equal to P A into P B into P C. Clear? So pause and note down this point. So let's start exercise 13.2 and the question one is if P A is equal to 3 by 5 P B equals to 1 by 5 find P A intersection B if A and B are independent event. So it is given that A and B are independent events. So using P A intersection B is equal to P A into P B we get 3 by 5 into 1 by 5 that is 3 upon 25 clear so pause and note down the solution. Question 2 is, two cards are drawn at random and without replacement from a pack of 52 playing cards. Without replacement means that if we have taken one card and then we are not going to put that card back into the deck. Okay. So if you are taking one card, remaining cards will be 52, 51. So two cards are drawn at random and without replacement from a pack of 52 playing cards. Find the probability that both the cards are black. So let E1 be the first card drawn is black e2 is the event second card drawn is blank now probability of e1 since we are drawing the black card out of 52 so probability of e1 is 26 upon 52 now since we have taken one black card in the first event so the remaining black cards are 26 minus 1 that is 25 and the total number of cards remaining will be 51 okay now p e2 e1 that is probability that second card is black known that first card is black is 25 by 51. So the required probability that P E1 intersection E2 that is both are black that is probability of e, E1 and E2 is P E1 into P E2 that is 26 by 52 into 25 bound 51 which is equal to 25 by 102. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question 4. A fair coin and an unbiased die are tossed. Let E, so let A be the event, head appears on the coin, B be the event, 3 on the die. Check whether A and B are independent events or not. So the sample space for throwing a fair coin and an unbiased die will be S equals to 
एच वन एच टू एच थ्री एच फोर एच फाइव एच सिक्स टी वन टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर टी फाइव टी सिक्स सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन एस इज ट्वेल्व सो ए इज द इवेंट दैट हेड अपियर्स ऑन द कॉइन एंड बी इज द इवेंट थ्री अपियर्स ऑन द डाई सो ए इज एच वन एच टू एच थ्री एच फोर एच फाइव एच सिक्स एंड बी इज एच थ्री टी थ्री सो ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज गुड वॉट ओनली एच थ्री सो एन इक्वल्स टू सिक्स एन बी इक्वल्स टू टू एंड एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल्स टू वन सो प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए इज वन बाई टू प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ बी इज वन बाई सिक्स एंड प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू वन वन ट्वेल्व सो वी कैन चेक दैट पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू विच इज इक्वल टू पी ए इंटू पी बी दैट इज वन बाई टू इंटू वन बाई सिक्स देर फोर पी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू पी एंड पी बी हेन्स दे आर इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स क्लियर सो पॉज एंड नोट ऑन द सोल्यूशन Next is question seven. Given that the events A and B are such that P A equals to half, P A U and B equals to three by five, and P B equals to P, find P if they are mutually exclusive, and second one is independent. So it is given that P A is equal to one by two, P A U and B equals to three by five, and P B equals to P. So we know that P A U and B. We have learned this formula. P A U and B equals to P A plus P B minus P A intersection B. Therefore. So we have P A intersection B is equal to P plus half minus three by five. That is P minus one upon ten. So if A and B A and B are mutually exclusive, then A intersection B will be equal to five. So P A intersection B is zero. So from there we get P minus one by ten equals zero, or P is equal to one by ten. And second is that if A and B are independent, then P A intersection B is P A into P B. So P minus one upon ten is one by P. So from there we will find p is equal to one by five. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. If A and B are two events such that p A is one by four, p B is one by two, and p A intersection B is equal to one by eight, find p not A and not B. Not A A dash and means intersection. Not B means B dash. So we have PA is one by four, PB is one by two, and PA intersection B is one by eight. So PA intersection B is equal to one by eight. That is one by four into one by two. PA into PB. It means that A and B are independent. So if A and B are independent, so A dash and B dash are also independent events. So probability of A dash intersection B dash is PA dash into PB dash. So P not A and not B equals to PA dash and B dash. So PA dash intersection B dash. So P A dash into P B dash. From here we get one minus P A into one minus P B. So one minus one by four into one minus one by two. We will get three by eight. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question ten. Events A and B are such that P A is one by two, P B is seven point twelve, and P not A and not B is one by four. State whether A and B are independent. So P A is one by two and P B is seven by twelve. So P not A or not B, one by four. So P A dash U and B dash equals to one by four. So taking De Morgan law, we get P A intersection B dash equals to one by four. So one minus P intersection is one by four. So P A intersection B is one minus one by four. That is three by four. Now P A into P B is one by two into seven point twelve. That is seven point twenty four. So we can see that P A intersection B is not equal to P A into P B. Therefore, the events are not independent. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. A die is tossed thrice. Find the probability of getting an odd number at least once. So let S be the sample space of tossing one die. So S is one, two, three, four, five. So number of elements in S is six. So E is the event of getting an odd number. So E is one, three, five. So probability of E is equal to three by six. Now E one an odd on the first. E2 odd on the second and E3 the odd on the third toss. So we know that for common sense that E1, E2, E3 are independent events and hence E dash, E1 dash, E2 dash, E3 dash are also independent. So P E1 equals to P E2 equals to P3 will be equal to 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. So probability of an odd number at least once will be 1 minus P an odd number on none of the three dice. So 1 minus P E1 dash into P E2 dash into P E3 dash. So 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 minus 1 by 2 a cube that is 7 by 8. Clear. So pause and note down the solution. 
मोर टू क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ सॉल्विंग स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम इंडिपेंडेंटली बाई ए एंड बी आर वन बाई टू एंड वन बाई थ्री इफ बोथ ट्राई टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इंडिपेंडेंटली फाइंड द प्रॉबलिटी दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व एक्जैक्टली वन ऑफ दम सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट इवेंट ई दैट ए सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एंड एफ पी सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम सो पी इज वन बाई टू एंड पी एफ इज वन बाई थ्री ना पी दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व दैट विल बी इक्वल टू प्रॉबलिटी दैट एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ दम सॉल्व which can be written one minus probability that neither of them solve the problem so it can be written as one minus p e dash intersection f dash so one minus one minus p e so one into one minus p f so putting the values we get one minus into one minus one by two one minus one by three which will give two by three that is the problem is solved the probability is two by three now second part the probability exactly one of them solve the problem so will be equal to probability A solves and B does not solve, or B solves and A does not solve. So P E intersection F dash plus P F intersection E dash will be equal to P E into P F dash plus P F into P dash. So putting the values, one by two into one minus one upon three plus one upon three into one minus one upon two. Solving this, we will get the probability that exactly one of them solve the problem will be equal to one by two. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Going to question 16. In a hostel, 60% of the students read Hindi newspaper, 40% read English newspaper, and 20% read both Hindi and English. A student is selected at random. Find the probability that she reads neither Hindi nor English. Second, if she reads Hindi newspaper, find the probability that she reads English newspaper. And C, if she reads English newspaper, then find the probability that she reads Hindi newspaper. So we have the events A. A student reads Hindi newspaper and B. A student reads English. So it is given that 60% read Hindi and 40% read English newspaper. So P A is 60 upon 100 and P B is 40 upon 100. And P A intersection B is P A and P B. That is 20 upon 100, which will be equal to 1 by 5. Now first, the required probability is probability that she reads neither. So P A dash intersection P B dash will be equal to P A U and B dash, which can be written as 1 minus P A U and B. Or one minus P A plus P B minus P intersection B. So putting the values, they get one minus three by five plus two by five minus one by five, which is equal to one by five. Now part B. The required probability is P B by A. So P A intersection B upon P A, which is equal to one upon five upon three by five. That is one upon three. And third is P A by B. That is P A intersection B upon P B. So one by five upon two by five. That is one upon two. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. With this, we end the exercise. So solve the remaining sums and don't forget to solve the examples given before the exercise. Thank you and all the best.